Well, hello everyone, and you're here with another uh, Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle playset review, and today it is on the Lava Chamber Gate from 2006. So on the front of the box here, you see you know, the whole set in action above a lava river that's in the center of Voya Nui, and Bonacle.com, Lego logo, and Choking Hazard, of course, Bonacle logo with uh, icon of Voya Nui, and and age of recommendation 7 to 16, set number 8893, has 373 pieces. Let's flip to the back part of it. See the Paraka and Nika logos and all the mini things that there are, and all the features of it, and Kanoka, Club Point, and little icon Vuya Nui, and I've heard all three of the play sets in it, and also the one that's highlight has an arrow of it pointing to an alternate build that there is, which kind of interesting one that there is, and yeah. And on to the instruction manual. Well, on the front of which, same picture as on the front and everything, same logos and everything. And on the back, see. Add for the Bonacle Heroes game and Bonk website. Add for a Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. Then add for the uh, Bonacle Game Boy Advance game and Bonacle 3 movie. And add for the three Titan sets from the time. Then add for all the play sets with the icon Voya Nui, or Island of Voya Nui actually. Add for all the Paraka and Toa and Nika. And then the pieces that come with the set. And also realistic picture of the set, of course. And then the last steps. So for the minifigs, which I'm not going to mention much in this review, is because just the same repetitive build as all the other ones, but the head pieces and color schemes all different. And as you, and you can get kind of a good glimpse of the weapons that they have, because all these playsets came with the same range of weapons and stuff that can that sometimes don't get held by minifigs, of course. But for the Anika included with this set, did Huki, Holly, and Matoro and Nuparu. But also, Nuparu doesn't have his uh, uh, shoulder Zamar Sphere since they're just, just going to want to bother doing so. And Huki doesn't have a chain included to him. But kind of, uh, anyway. But as for the Paraka, do you have Avak, Hakan, Vizok, and Zaktan? And all their headpieces about the same as the construction figure versions of them. And also these minifigs were also put out as a keychains at one time, but Hackan of which was included with Kongu in a poly bag of the this kind of sets and the but also the same also the spine piece that were also used on a lot of other sets, but Zaktans in particular were used as seaweed in some underwater themes. But as but it kind of interesting seeing the transition of characters here, where the stone elemented ones at first brown and then went over to yellow. Well, I mean, yeah. But also, as for the features of it, get about two of these, uh, or actually four of these, of uh, surfboard pieces, which you can use for like Silver Surfer in the Marvel line, of course. But as a single hole of it, you can attach bits to it. And you get two of the other kind as well, but with a ball jointed Xamarsphere launcher with sort of a Mixel style ball joint, since these were the time when they introduced those kinds of ball joints. And yes, you can fire the Xamarsphere launchers off like so. And, uh, hang on a sec. It's now on to the lava chamber gate 
itself. Oh, it's a uh, pretty cool one. There you go. There we go. So, as you see, it's in two separate sections. So, let's look at this one first. See, they're both on the like large base pieces, which do have some like staircasing etched into them, which they also used with uh with Paraka Stronghold and that other one. The same with that as well, which must have came from some castle lines. You can see some streaks of orange in it, probably representing the lava that there is. And get ton of the like a uh, long long jackets or jagged slopes, but in dark blue. Which those also translate to Paraka Stronghold. Also, you know, it's another. You, although you can say this whole set like another part of Paraka Stronghold. And then you, but also have a second floor of which, which had these like technic rods here. But if you like pull this little thing in, and they all drop down. It's in one hole, but if you like pull this other rod that has a crocular stave on top, just pull it up and then push that in, and it's all intact. And it's the old style flame pieces up above, then to the top part of it. Which does have a little catapult here that you can blow the Xamosphere out of it. And it's mostly comprised of Axon's axe. So, like they went all out with Axon Rotaka's axe or masks in this in these sets. And also another Borak uh, shield piece, or Borak call shield piece, actually. Which has, so the part of it which has these long chains that. Linked to uh, part of the bridge with Utaka's uh, sword piece to it. But if I like tap on this, then it flings right off. And as I untangle it, as for the holes of it, which connect, which go onto some holes here and fling, plug them in and just place it on there. Oh, which is a fun, neat feature for this, which I truly like. And to the other half of which, which is more or less the same but opposite, and also also includes Axon's mask as well, and also all the same features, and that of course. There's, anyway, but instead of the catapult, it's actually. A Hordika headpiece, but that has a connect, a hand connector, and a multi-shot Zammer launcher as well. You know, let me get both together and see the whole thing in action. Oh yeah. Although it does feel like something that you can do with it all day. Also, these bridge pieces not at all connected since there are some tiles on there and yet. Yeah. Let me get everything on here. Although, do wish that there was some things put out on these open spaces because it looks kind of vacant. Although that kind of would have bumped up the price a bit, but yeah. Or maybe what they could have done is make an actual mask of life and put it on one of these, like in the Bonk of Heroes game. But yeah, all of that would have been overkill to it. And yeah. So for the final verdict on this set. Overall, I think this is a kind of cool set of 2006, like, 
get plenty of hoverboards with and also a few Zamor sphere launchers to it and an all right selection of minifigs which not the complete bunch of both Proc and Nika, uh, of course. Although, but at least they saved that for uh, Proc uh, Stronghold, of course. But, um, but also good use of pieces and good features to it, and yeah. And also two of those uh, big large base pieces, of course. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like eBay BrickLink, whatever. And that is about it with this video, and thanks for watching.